What's up, guys? I am going to catch up on some mail and uh, do a video response for Michael Seven's AR Falcon 77. Uh, great contest. A lot of people are already uh, uploading videos that haven't uploaded for a while. And it has also uh, just gotten a lot of videos uploaded. I've had a lot of videos to watch recently. So that's always good. I uh, actually shot this video a couple nights ago, but turned out shitty the whole time either was coughing or needed to cough and was trying not to uh, I've been sick went to the doctor the other day got some antibiotics uh, life's just been nuts uh, the wife a few weekends ago had a rupture a couple discs in her back and then she had pneumonia on top of it she was in the hospital for like four days and uh, then our cat somewhere along the line has disappeared so I'm hoping she got outside at some point and isn't, I don't know, I've searched the house up and down multiple times. So hopefully she's not dead somewhere. That would suck. But uh, yeah, we actually set a trap up outside. Caught a different stray cat last night. It was caged up this morning, uh, freaking out. So uh, set it again, hoping, uh, I don't know, maybe she turns up. Uh, hated the idea of having a cat when we got married and then Thing just kind of grew on me. Always sat on my lap watching TV and stuff. But anyways, pickups. Uh, got some Hall of Fame slash Legend stuff. Picked this up from Chris Patton. Um, Choicey. Choice 22. Steve McNair Auto. Uh, in the last few weeks, like three weekends ago, there was a local card show. Uh, and Ryan came down. And then Michael, this film not yet rated, came down. And uh, we hit up that show. It wasn't much of a show. Picked up one card. But uh, we went and had lunch afterwards. And that was good time. It's always fun seeing them. And then saw them again this past weekend. Me and Michael went up to a show in St. Louis. And then to trade night. And got to hang out with all the guys. And always good times. But anyways, this is one I picked up at the local show. Number to 50. Uh, Billy Sims. Gold Ink. Quad Patch Auto from UD Black. Um great looking cards uh, wanted to get something there at the show and saw that so figured I'd nab it got this off eBay Lawrence Taylor National Treasures Auto number to 50 these two I got in the show at the show in St. Louis last weekend a uh, couple guys that were set up from the Indy area and was able to get a Marvin Harrison Autographics Auto they had tons of cult stuff and then Reggie Wayne Patch Auto, numbered uh, 87 from National Treasures. Sucks that guy got hurt. Uh, does things the right way. Didn't have him on any fantasy teams, but it still sucks he got hurt. Uh, I felt bad for him. And then the last one, numbered to 25, this was on one of the Facebook raffle groups. And I just made a deal outright for it because I loved it. And had been wanting one of this guy's autos. Doesn't have a ton of stuff out there that really caught my eye. But saw this and had to have it. Number 25, a three triple patch auto of Tim Brown. Uh, the second two patches are Pro Bowl. Game worn prime Pro Bowl jerseys. So yeah, that's those pickups. Then I... Uh, didn't get all the Chief stuff back out to show. Picked up a couple other berries and a couple other random things, but didn't feel like digging it all back out. Uh, picked up this Tom Baha Lee Rookie Auto, number to 150. These uh, Rookies and Stars manufactured patch autos. I had the gold to 251, the blue to 25, number to 10, the black version, and then the emerald to 5. And then I was able to pick up the uh, longevity version, Ruby version, number to five as well. So I don't know if there's any other versions of that I'm missing, uh, but pretty neat to add one to that rainbow. And then the last one uh, from Sterling, two color patch auto printing plate, one of one, of course. Took forever for this card to get here. I thought I was going to get gypped. Uh, wanted it at a really good price. And uh, was afraid the guy just wasn't going to send it. And it finally got here. So yeah, that's uh, some recent pickups. Now on to Michael's contest. Uh, a little late to this party. I 
tons of people uh, have already been mentioned. Uh, a lot of guys have already made videos that haven't in a while. I know Steven and Zeffo and uh, Gary, King of Steak, um, Tanvir. I mean, all guys that, I mean, everybody wants to see back. As far as tubers that have been gone, that uh, I wish would come back. I mean, there's tons of them, the ones I just mentioned. Uh, Frank B4980, uh, great guy. But uh, probably just the people whose videos always make me laugh. Uh, Will, Dawkins311, uh, still talk to him all the time, so not that big of a deal. <laughs> Love you, Will. Uh, JBB, uh, always great video videos. He's hilarious, and the editing he always does uh, makes great videos. Techno Bailey, um, probably not going to happen. But Techno, everybody also as well. Techno, Denny, Nate, Chris, congrats to the Red Sox. Uh, play a great series. Uh, sucked as a Cardinals fan to watch that. We hit, what, 330 with runners in scoring position all season. It was bound to come to an end, and it did this series. Uh, brutal. The bats just went to Molina and then four outs after him. Horrible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no offense at all. But, uh, yeah, Techno, love that guy. I miss him. He was always hilarious, just quirky. Uh, couldn't watch one of his videos without laughing and smiling. Uh, just a great guy. And uh, Gary, I already mentioned him. He's made a couple videos since this uh, contest. And he, I don't know, just his videos. One of the people's videos I go back and watch and sort my popularity just to watch some of the funny videos he had put up throughout his time on YouTube. Um, hilarious stuff. Who else? Oh, one that he's made a couple videos since Nationals, but Eric Ravensfan516, another guy, always makes uh, makes me laugh. I know he hasn't been picking up a whole lot since Nationals, but uh, I was giving him crap just telling him to make random videos just to uh, make me laugh and amuse me. But yeah, there's a uh, I don't know, the list goes on and on. There's a lot, also been a lot of great points that have been made so far. Chris talking about Facebook. Um, I know a lot of people upload pictures of uh, pickups and stuff to there. It's a lot less time consuming. Um, doesn't take as much effort. And uh, I did that as well uh, when I started getting in those groups and stuff. But then I stopped just because I would still show the cards in videos. And I was like, ah, what's the point of showing them on there? And then people watch my videos and everybody's seen all the cards already. But, uh, yeah, it's just not the same. I'd much rather show cards and see people's cards in videos. Uh, just uploading them to Facebook. That's like being in your early 20s and having it at 9 o'clock on a Friday night at a bar and uh, deciding you're going to take the drunken, skanky heifer home at 9 o'clock instead of putting a little effort in, going after something better. Just put that effort. You never know. Uh, yeah. What else? Uh, I know Matt Partly Cloudy had touched in it in a couple videos back, commenting on videos. Uh, I think that's huge. Just if you watch videos, leave a comment. I think people be more apt to uh, keep uploading videos if they, you know, get comments and get that feedback. A lot of times on Facebook, people on there, it's really easy to leave a comment on there. It doesn't it's not time consuming. To uh, just look at the picture and then comment, but uh, yeah, just leaving comments I think would help. Uh, I don't know if it's harder for new people in the community to get noticed now, since uh, there's not as many. I don't know back when everybody would just be on blog. You, I don't know. It seemed easier to meet people. I never get on any any of those sites anymore, whatever it's called now. But uh, yeah, I need some new blood too. Uh, meeting new people, uh, I don't know, hard to do. I guess their names will pop up eventually, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling now, so I'm going to end the video. But Michael, love the uh, thought behind this contest to get everything back going or going uh, stronger again. I hate to say YouTube sucks now uh, because there are still people that make videos and uh, I hate to make it sound like I don't like their videos or something, but it has slowed down a lot 
and uh, a lot of days there isn't much to watch. And yeah, I'm just as guilty as anybody. I've been on the road a lot this year, and uh, having to come home, make the video, go back to work, because I don't have internet at home, and upload it is just a lot more of a pain in the butt than when I was at the apartment and able to come home, get a couple packages, make a meal day, boom, done. But yeah, I'm done rambling. Uh, thanks, Michael, for the contest. I'm not going to link this to I don't know if you can still link videos, but I'm not going to message you or whatever. I don't need prizes. Uh, and keep making videos, people. Peace.